So talk to me about Breakpoint. What's the story of Breakpoint? The story of Breakpoint is uh, we were, me and my friend Gene Hong, the writer, um, were playing tennis and, and we both, you know, agreed there was never a tennis movie that uh, was great, in our opinion, and there should be one because it's obviously a very successful sport and sports, you know, sports movies are um, uh, something that is there's a lot of. And so um, we started talking about that and, and we decided on doubles because there's more dynamics, there's more uh, space for conflict and and that uh, the setup, you know, lends itself to a story of two people who work, operate very differently, who have to get over issues, so that's how the brother thing came in. And, uh, and there's a lot of manners and a lot of bourgeois sort of, you know, rules that go along with tennis, so we thought a character that was uh, kind of, um, you know, didn't, it was uh, irreverent and didn't care about, uh, you know, enjoyed making people feel uncomfortable. Uh, we thought that'd be a great, great character in the world. And so then uh, that's, that's how the story came about, and then, you know, had to go find someone, and we, you know, eventually, after many, many years, uh, found uh, Gabriel Hammond, who, uh, you know, uh, created Broad Green Entertainment, but at the time he hadn't made a movie yet. And so, uh, we, you know, we got to produce it with him, and, and, uh, and so that's, that's basically the story. And this was like your baby, like you've been working on this for years. Years, years yeah, right? yeah, 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 many years, yeah, many years. And when it finally happened, um, I mean, are you happy with it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's I'm so close to it that it's uh, it's it's hard for me to, you know, um, uh, see it as uh, it, just a movie on its own. It represents a lot of a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of <clears throat> you know energy spent and a lot of relationships and 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 so uh, and a lot of experiences. So you know, it's 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 a huge thing for me. And um, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm, you know, it's a, an added bonus, a very um, appreciated added bonus that, that people are enjoying the movie and, and uh, you know, getting some, something out of it. So. And you basically got in because you can play tennis, not because of your <laughs> That's right. right. That's right. Yeah, basically all the meaning and depth of his answer, I'm like the complete <laughs> opposite. I uh, was just like, five weeks, sure, I'll play some tennis. <laughs> now, now I'm here. I don't even know why I'm here. No, uh, it's the life yeah. of an actor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it was fun to watch. You know, a passion project come alive, and it's and it's really inspirational to see that, you know, it can be done, and that you know that persistence for I don't know seven years of your life. You know, um, so it's really cool to watch, and also the movie's really good. I'm really proud of it. It's like uh, sports movie. The best sports movies aren't really about the sport. They're, it's about something else, and I think this story. Uh, hopefully we'll make families come together closer. Everyone will have a big laugh. I know all my nieces and nephews who are a little young probably to be watching this at age seven. Uh, <laughs> but, but they have, they love it and they're watching it on repeat at home, uh, you know. And so um, it's uh, it's something to be proud of. Movies live forever. And I think this will, this movie will, will be on, on all the top, you know, 50 sports movies of all time lists. Maybe top 10. Maybe top 10. Hell yeah. Can you kind of run through? You've got actually a really great girthy, like supplementary cast too. Yeah, um, Oscar very girthy. Winners. Girthy. Can you kind of run through who the other folks uh, are? J.K. Simpson. Simpson. <laughs> J.K. Simmons is uh, was the first person that came aboard, and uh, you know he. I can't say enough good things about him. You know, Oscar everyone winner. else is as well. And so that's been very inspiring, of course, uh, watching somebody who everyone agrees should be, um, you know. Oscar winning and and finally get to that point so uh, and it hasn't changed him a bit and, and so so he came aboard and 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 then Amy who I've also known for years uh, came aboard and she brings so much experience and and, and David came in very late in the, in yeah. the thing so we they got, wanted a few peop other people first, <laughs> no, it's not true we were just very very lucky to find David because we needed someone who was great who kind of could play my brother and also who was good at tennis, which he had all three. And of course, Joshua Rush, who steals the show. Uh, the role Barry, Gene Hong wrote such a unique and, and, and sweet, sweet role um, for, for Barry. But you know, there's, there's, there's many of those and oftentimes they're just, the, the right kid isn't to the right age at the time. And we got very lucky that someone as unique and uh, with as big of personality as, as Josh has was the right age at the time we were making the movie. And what's really cool about this movie is that the tennis is real and that, you know, so many sports movies you get taken out of the reality because you're like, that dude doesn't play. Like, I don't know if you've seen the movie Wimbledon, but I, it, I couldn't ever engage because it was so clearly like a CGI ball and everything. And 
this is just real tennis and it's real and we're trying to qualify for the US Open. So there's never a moment in the movie where you're taken out of it. And so you end up watching uh, something that's really funny, riveting in that traditional sports movie sense, but also is about something kind of deeper. And so when you guys played all that... Weird fake smile at the end. Though. Was it fake? It felt fake at the end. Though. Yeah, let me try that again. Something deeper. <laughs> <laughs> Is that better? So uh, you did all of your own tennis yourself, yeah? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, there was, in the beginning, I was very, very frightened of, of playing uh, uh, tennis in front of um, people and also cameras. I remember the first day of the director and, and Gabriel came out to watch me uh, with my trainer. I was so scared that they were going to be like, no, we can't make a movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but uh, but um, it, 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 went, it went great on all the tennis. Yeah, it really, it really was... Um, uh, something that that kind of fear of not being able to pull it off and the knowledge of how mental the game of tennis is that we both have um, uh, really lent itself to making the tennis in the movie feel alive and gritty and sweaty and, you know, like war. That's what it feels like to be out there fighting with yourself to try to maintain this, you know, this level of excellence that you need in order to win. and. And so, yeah, I'm proud. I'm proud of the tennis in there too. Yeah. And J.K. Um, said that he had a, a vet friend that helped. That he did all of his own medical procedures. He didn't have a double. Um, and you guys have. We a good lost four dogs that yeah. day. Yeah. So <laughs> two cats. Two cats. Well, um, yeah. We have. You guys have a good brawl. Um, did you do that brawl yourself? Yeah. Two takes. We did. Yeah. 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 We did. We wanted it to be very rough. We wanted it to be un 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 choreographed or not very choreographed. And uh, and so uh, we were just like hoping that would work. That's how it was written yeah. in the script. And but you get there, you're like, all right, how are we gonna yeah. actually do this? And oh, the day before, I had hurt David. Had you? I had hurt yeah. you. What doing something? I must have repressed that. I, what did I hurt you doing? Maybe a racket or something. Was it with words or was it? Physical? No, a physical hurting. Oh, uh, I, we were we had the scene that's not in the movie where we were wrestling. <laughs> we were playing Wii. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, was, I like held him down yeah. and was. He's one of these guys. Like you got to be so drunk to engage with him because <laughs> he's such a bull in a china shop, and he's so much stronger than he looks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so he was a little nervous that that we'd. Uh, you know, I was nervous too that we were gonna hurt each other or I was gonna hurt him. And, uh, and but ultimately we, we did <laughs> yeah, hurt we each both, other. Yeah, we both uh, got injured in that. But no, with you, <laughs> I remember you saying you really just didn't want any kind of that Hollywood fight. Like it's, you just want something that you can sit back in a wide and just be like, oh, they, that was, that was it. Not some mm -hmm. cut or some like. Because we also weren't fight. trying to like really hurt each other. You yeah. know, he punches me, which is, the biggest shot in there, but the rest of the time, like we're doing weird stuff to yeah, each other. Like you would do with brothers, man fight, pushing, and don't know how faces, to fight, you know, you know, you know. Ah, ah. Yeah, like that kind of stuff, you know. It's, but yeah, yeah. I'm glad, I'm glad you both came out of it okay. The only other thing yeah. I want to do is, can I do a two shot here and have you guys look to the camera and tell people it's in theaters now and okay. see Breakpoint? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because um, we did the VOD stuff the other day, but okay. this would be nice for like, go see it. That one there, put your hand on it. Yeah. yeah. Hi, I'm David Walton. I'm Jeremy Sisto. Go see Breakpoint. Out in theaters right now. Right if now. If it's September 4th. Do I do it like it's yeah. September 4th already? Yeah. It's very good. <laughs> it's this digital yeah. age. I can put it out whenever I want to. <laughs> hi, I'm Jeremy, hi, I'm Jeremy Sisto. Hi, and I'm David Walton. And go see our movie Breakpoint. In theaters right now. You'll love it. Cool. Thanks, guys.